Welcome to GDs. And this is, Jack Ryan, Season 3. Season starts, in 1969, with the Soviets, working on a secret project to develop a nuclear weapon, and the project was called Sokol. But with the initial attempts failing, the project is deactivated. Luka Gacharov, a Soviet officer, in order to keep the project a secret, orders his men to eliminate all the project scientists. In the present, we see Jack, learning from his informant Zoya Ivanova, that the Sokol project has been reactivated, and Russia, might have already built a tactical nuclear weapon. In addition, she hands Jack a chip. Having this information, Jack informs Elizabeth Wright, the station chief of Rome, about the Sokol project. He also lets her know, that the project is a part of an old Soviet war plan, wherein, they will sow confusion in Western Europe, starting with assassinations, and ending with a nuclear detonation. James Greer, backs his theory, and they tell her, that the chip he got from his source, will provide them a location, and when it does, he wants to look into the same. Later, Jack receives the location, and it turns out to be on a ship. Though Wright is not sure about the source, but knowing the potential threat, she convinces Director Miller, to grant them permission for a recon mission. Getting permission, Jack, along with four-man special ops team, are able to get on the ship, in order to look for the nuclear device. But the ship did not have a nuclear device, instead, they find a scientist, and he lets them know, that he was told that the Americans will find him, and he asks them for asylum. He tells Jack, that he is one of the scientists who worked on the nuclear device, and he will tell them more, once he gets asylum. Jack, gets him off the ship, and informs Wright the same. Wright tells him, to go to a shore in Greece, and she will send a team to get them. As Jack reaches the shore, he learns from Yuri, that they already developed a low-yield nuclear bomb, which is invisible to radar. But before Jack could learn more, they are ambushed. His team is killed, but Jack was able to escape with Yuri. Jack, tries to reach the safe house, but a Russian spy Konstantin, was following them. He eventually is able to get to Yuri, and he kills him. While Jack, trying to escape, accidentally kills a Roman cop. Wright, asks him to reach the safe house, but Jack, spots a lookout outside the safe house. It is when Wright informs him, that the investigation about Sokol has been dropped, and since he is now wanted for killing a Roman cop, he needs to come in. Jack, knowing his information to be true, and the threat to be imminent, decides not to do so. James, shares a cryptic message with him, before he destroys his phone and escapes. James, is able to send Jack some money, and provide him a location to lay low, before he leaves with Wright, in order to apprehend him. On the other hand, we get to see Elena Kovac, the President of the Czech Republic, getting ready to meet with the Russian Defense Minister Popov. The Russian Defense Minister Popov, wanted a discreet meeting, but President Elena, ambushed him with a very public meeting. Wherein, she asks him to restrain troop movements in Ukraine, as it destabilizes the region, and in return, she will postpone the offer of NATO, of placing surface-to-air missiles on the Czech Republic soil. Minister Popov, despite not being happy with her tactics, agreed to her demands. Later, as they go to see a soccer match, the Russian minister is assassinated. We then get to see the real shooter escaping, and framing a fall guy. Roddick, the security head of President Elena, shoots and kills the man who was framed, before he could be questioned. With the Russian defense minister dead, his second-in-command, Alexei Petrov, takes oath as the new defense minister of Russia. He lets the Russian president know, that he thinks the Americans were behind the assassination of the minister. In addition, he also informs him, that the Americans tried to turn one of their scientists. Petrov being a hardliner, suggests, that they answer this provocation with strength, and thus he sends in troops to Ukraine for military exercises. Luka Goncharov, was also present in the inner Russian circle, and he primarily provides intelligence to the president. Seeing Petrov, he remembers the past, wherein he informed the families of those working for the nuclear project, that they all died in an accident. As Luka sits down with Petrov, he tells him, that he knows it was not the Americans who killed Popov. Petrov tells him, that he was not sure if they could trust him, thus he was not included in the plan, but seeing how his vision aligns with theirs, they will be happy to have him on board. He then asks Luka to take care of an American spy, as he has became a nuisance for them. Petrov also called the Czech president, and informs her, that the deal she made with the late defense minister, will not be honored, and he has decided to conduct military exercises in Ukraine. President Elena, concerned by the same, discusses the situation with her father, and tells him, that the Russians are pushing her, and she might have to allow NATO to set up the missile system. 
Her father Petr Kovac, tells her, that she is a strong woman, and she should do whatever she thinks is the best for their country. While we see her security head Roddick, eliminating the real shooter of the assassination, and he informs the same to Petrov. On the other hand, Jack, receiving the information from James, gets to meet an old acquaintance, and he helps him to hide, as the Russians, as well as the CIA look for him. Jack, being able to evade them, gets in touch with Mike, who is now a private contractor, and he gets him out from there. Jack, knowing the threat to be real, but not having enough intel for the same, tracks Zoya in Vienna, and asks her to provide him more information. Zoya, lets him know, that she only relayed the information to him, and knows nothing more, but on being pushed, she was able to set up a meeting for him with a real informant. While Wright, was able to figure out, that James helped Jack. Thus, she asks him to head to Czech Republic, in order to ensure their president, that the US had no part in the assassination. As Wright returns back, she finds, that the director not trusting her, has sent a team to apprehend Jack, and he is being considered a traitor. As they look for him, they were able to track him in Vienna. While James, being in Czech Republic, and having a working relationship with President Elena, informs her, that they were not behind the assassination, as they knew the minister was willing to pull back troops from Ukraine. He later learns, that Jack has been tracked to Vienna, and was able to figure out that Mike would be helping him. He gets in touch with Jack, and informs him about the developments. Jack, knowing the same, and having the meeting with his source finalized, is able to trick the CIA, with help from Mike's team. And, he makes the CIA follow a false lead. Jack, being on a train with Mike, in order to meet with his source, is attacked by Constantine. But before he could kill him, Luca, being there, takes him out. Jack then learns, that it was Luca who was indeed his source, and Zoya has been working under his direction. He lets Jack know, that he is only helping him out, as it's not Russia who is behind everything, but a rogue fraction within the Russian government, who wants them to return to the former glory of the Soviet Union. And he is trying to identify all those who are involved. He also tells him, that the nuclear device is ready, but they are waiting for the uranium to be delivered. And he provides them with the name of the arms dealer, who will be supplying them with the uranium. Jack, informs what he learned to write, and tells her to trust him. While Luca, returns back to Russia, and tells Petrov, that Konstantin was an informant, and he took care of him. Petrov, believing him, entrusts him with more responsibility, and Luca was happy doing so as it will help him find, all those who are involved in the rogue faction. Meanwhile James, being in Czech Republic, starts to investigate the assassination of Popov. During his investigation, he finds Roddick to be a person of interest. He shares what he learned with the president, while her father was also present in the room. President Elena, getting to know the same is not sure what games Russia is playing, while her father suggests to her, that if it's true, she needs to act accordingly. The president lets him know, that it's already done, as she gave the confirmation to NATO, to set up the missile system in their country. Later, we see Petr, meeting with a group of people, which includes Petrov. And we learn, that Petr, is one of the members who is behind the planning of everything. While another man there, pays for the nuclear material to be delivered. But later we see Petr, taking him out, as he spoke a lot. Mike, knowing the arms dealer who will be providing the Russians the nuclear material, tracks him down, and they are able to grab him. They then pressure him, into giving the whereabouts of the nuclear device. Having the information, Jack tells Wright everything. Wright, trusting him, agrees to support him. Back in Russia, Petrov informs the Russian president, that the Czechs have agreed to the establishment of NATO missiles, and they need to posture back. Luca, in order to gain his trust, also suggests the same to the president, and the president orders his troops to be on alert. While Jack, along with Mike, and a two-man team, go to the location that they received from the arms dealer, and Wright, provides them with overwatch. Being there, Jack runs into Luca, who tells him, that he needs to work from the inside to know who all are involved. Jack tries to stop him, but he manages to get away with a nuclear device, leaving only breadcrumbs for Jack to follow. Jack, along with others, are able to escape, as Mike had arranged for backup. While in the Czech Republic, investigating Roddick, James learns, that he knew Petr from his military days. The CIA bugs his house, while James goes to have a chat with Petr. Talking with him, James realized that he is more involved than what he is letting on. The president, officially announces, that she has allowed the surface-to-air missile system of NATO, to be placed in her country. As she was leaving the event, Roddick gets a call from his wife, and she tells him, 
that someone was in their house. Knowing the same, he asks her to leave, while he abducts the president. He then calls her father, wanting to discuss his future, but in reality, he wanted to take him out, fearing, that if he doesn't, he will come after him. But Petter, was able to see through his plan, and was able to kill him first. He then tells his daughter, that he is a former Soviet soldier, and we get to see in a flashback, that he was one of the soldiers who was ordered to kill all the scientists, but as he refused the order, he was shot. But he survived, and was taken care by a man. But when the man found out his real identity, he had to kill him. And since then, he has been waiting to bring back the former glory of the Soviet Union. Before leaving, he tells his daughter, that she was just a tool he used to have influence. James was also able to find the real identity of Petter, and he informs the same to the president, and tells her, that he is the one who has orchestrated everything. Meanwhile Jack, examining the evidence he collected, was able to figure out, that the nuclear device they built, is of an American design. Thus he believes, that after it goes off, Russia wants to blame the United States for the same. While Luca, reaches the destination with the device. But everyone's phone is confiscated, so that their location is not compromised. And we get to see a bunch of men in military uniform, preparing the bomb. On the other hand, Director Miller, knowing that Wright wanted his position, and now finding out that she helped Jack, uses the opportunity to sideline her, and she is forced to return back. Jack, having the information, needed help to know where the device might be heading. Thus he travels with Mike to Czech Republic, where James and the team there, was ready to help him, but he had limited time, as once he will be in the building, his whereabouts will be known, and the team would come to arrest him. Having limited time, Jack was able to narrow down the location where the nuclear device might be heading. Jack, in order to avoid being arrested by the US agents, runs out but he is not able to escape, as he is arrested by the Czech police. We later learn, that it was all a part of a plan, as the Czech police, take him to their president, where they brainstorm the potential location of the nuclear device. Jack, getting to know that the missile system which the president allowed, is on the move for a military base, knows, that it is the potential target. He reaches the convoy, and connects with the general leading the convoy, in order to come up with a plan. They were also able to find a rogue truck heading towards the convoy, and realizing that it plans to detonate in a city on its way, Jack decides to stop it in a tunnel, thereby also shielding everyone from nuclear radiation. Jack, with the help of the general, comes up with a plan, and they are able to stop the attack. In the meantime, James, using an old contact, was able to get right to the vice president. Wright informs him, that today's events could have been prevented, if director Miller listened to them. Knowing the same, Miller is removed and Wright is asked to coordinate further. While Luca, after delivering the weapon, gets to meet with Petter, where he tells him, who he really is. The Czech forces, were also able to locate him, and before he could shoot Luca, Luca shoots him. As the president reaches there, Luca tells her, that her father is still alive, as he stopped the bleeding. But the president talking with his father realized, how much lost he is, thus she allows him to bleed out. The threat of the Russian rogue group was still not over, as the nuclear blast, is now being propagated in Russia, as an attempt by the Americans to put nuclear weapons close to Russia. Thus in order to expose the truth, Jack, Luca, President Elena, and the others head towards Russia. Being in Russia, Luca, is grabbed by Petrov's men. Jack follows him, as they take him to a warehouse. Petrov, was able to figure out, that he is not with them, thus he wanted to get rid of him. Luca, was able to record Petrov, as he confesses to his role in the events that transpired, and how he wants to take Russia ahead. As Petrov leaves, he asked his men to take care of him, but before they could, Jack, being there, was able to save him. James on the other hand, gets the name of a naval captain from an old source, as being one of the men who is involved in the plot. Jack, hands over the recording that Luca got to James, while he along with Luca, head towards the naval captain's home. Meanwhile, with a nuclear explosion in Czech Republic, Petrov uses it as a threat, and makes the president order further troop movement. The president tells him, to get things ready, but wants that no ship should set out, until his explicit order. In the States, Wright shares with the president, that the present situation is because of a rogue group in Russia. Despite knowing the same, the president wants his troops to be ready, in order to respond to any aggression. In Russia, Jack along with Luca, reached the naval captain's home, but he was not there. And as they go through the house, they find, that the captain heads a naval vessel called the Fearless, and he has signed orders from Petrov to attack a US vessel. Knowing this, they realize that Petrov is planning a coup. 
Jack, relays the information back, and decides to head towards the sea, while Luca also heads towards the fearless. Mike and President Elena, are able to get to the wife of late defense minister, and they play for her the confession of Petrov. Hearing the same, she agrees to help them, in order to get to the Russian president. James, Mike, and Elena enter the tunnels, in order to reach the Russian president. While we see Petrov, rallying the generals to overthrow the president. On the other hand, Luka was able to get on the fearless, and as he confronts the captain, he realizes, that he was one of the men whom he ordered to kill the scientist years back, and he is determined to go through with the plan, and gets Luka imprisoned. While Jack, gets on the Roosevelt, and informs the captain about the realities. But the captain tells him, that he is not concerned about anything, and if they are attacked, they have standing order to respond in kind. In Russia, James is caught inside the presidential complex, but it was his intention, in order to keep Petrov distracted, while Elena and Mike, are able to reach the president, and they share with him everything. Knowing the truth, the president takes care of Petrov, and all those who supported him. Back at sea, as the fearless comes face to face with the Roosevelt, it fires a missile at it. The Roosevelt, is able to intercept it, and the captain wants to fire back, before they could fire again, but Jack pleads with him, and asks him not to do so, as this will start a war, and the fearless is baiting him to do so. Meanwhile in the fearless, Luca is able to plead to the officer, that the naval captain is not following official orders, and before firing again, they should confirm it first. Listening to Luca's advice, the officer relieves the captain of his post. Luca, calls the Roosevelt on an open channel, letting them know, that the captain has been relieved of his command. Jack asks him, if they are at war, and Luca lets them know, that it is up to them. Hearing this, the captain of the Roosevelt, decides not to fire, and informs the president, that they are not a war. Everyone is quite relieved, and the president acknowledging Wright's efforts, promotes her to be the new director. And as the season ends, we see Luca being taken by a man, and he tells him, that he won't make it difficult for him. While James, and Jack, receive a medal from the director of the CIA. Thanks for watching. And if you liked it, please subscribe.